My Daughter, The Coffee Inside from Sherry, The J. Lee Cookie. It's a good morning, especially to be me. So I'm going to immerse my cookie and my coffee, as is my tradition. It's not a mandate. I want to talk to you about medicine this morning. <clears throat> Some people have become concerned over the last few years about the subject of medicine. And in their confusion, many have decided maybe I should be taking medicine or vitamins or all the other stuff. Well, hopefully I can clear some of that up for you. When the Bible talks about health and healing and such, it mentions both physical and spiritual. But <clears throat> we want to be whole. So we have to pay attention to both our spiritual health and even our physical health. Uh, before I get started, I find it interesting that Luke, who was a physician, never wrote anything about medicine. That's weird to me. I figured he'd have like a med book or something, you know, a list of uh, ailments and a list of cures or treatments or something. But he didn't. But that's just kind of a strange thing that I think about. But I do want to go ahead and uh, read to you first from Proverbs chapter oh, 17, verse 22. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. That is so true. No, we're only one person, just one. We're body, soul, and spirit. If one part of us is ailing, does it not affect the whole body? When we suffer from depression, we're not a ball of energy, are we? We're not all excited and ready to move and go do things when we're depressed. So our depression literally affects our body. And guess what? It also affects the body chemically. So that's why they have antidepressants. And when used properly, they actually help. Uh, some of the antidepressants, I'm not going to by name, I know that they put a floor underneath you. They don't make you high or weird or okay, make your thinking processes incorrect. But it puts a floor that only permits you to go down so far in depression. So I find those uniquely interesting. When I looked at my Bible, I also, where's my little note I made here? There are cures in the Bible. Did you know that Psalms says, a man with a heavy heart, give him strong drink? I'm not quite sure to what extent that small drink should be taking place. But maybe enough to loosen his heart and, and lift him up for a moment. I know people are uh, depressed, particularly <clears throat> properly, uh, clinically depressed. Okay. Uh, sometimes a moment of relief is what they need from their anxiety or their depression or whatever. <clears throat> also, Paul writes in Timothy that for the sake of your stomach, you know, if you like a really upset stomach, take a little wine for your stomach's sake. When my dad realized he had stomach issues, his doctor prescribed Rhine wine. You know what that is? Rhine wine is a very dry white wine from Germany. And the best brand was Zeller Schwarzkatz. And yeah, you can still buy that at most liquor stores. And it means German, and German is black cat. So if you can't ask for it in German, you can ask for it in English, it's called black cat. So white Rhine wine, very bitter. In fact, it makes his stomach, it kind of makes his stomach pucker. I don't know what value that was, but I told you anyway. And then in uh, Isaiah 38, 21, also repeated in Kings, King Hezekiah had boils, boils on his skin. And Jeremiah gives him a formula for a paste to cure his boils. And it did. It cured his boils. And there are some other medicines mentioned in the Bible. 
So medicine is not anti-God or anti-faith. In fact, if it is, then Isaiah and Timothy and King David were all in the wrong. In our Jewish world, we have a concern about the origin of our medicine. You know, uh, being kosher, we don't eat pork or anything associated with it or mixed meat that has pork in it. Okay. But some medicines do come from unclean animals. Let me use an example. Originally, originally, okay, uh, insulin was from an enzyme of a pig. And the insulin saved lives and lives and lives and lives. And the rabbis declared that for the sake of life, those type of concerns can be set aside. I mean, if there's an option, take the option. But don't stop taking the medicine. Did you hear me? Don't stop. Almost sounds like a song. Don't stop taking the medicine. Anyway, uh, so much for my song. So in such a case as being concerned about kosher, health takes priority. And vitamins, well, you know what? That's good. It doesn't hurt you, especially vitamin D. If you live above Arizona and New Mexico, you really do need about 4,000 units of vitamin D a day. That's just four little tablets. You can get them vitamin D3 at Wally Mart. Okay? And they come in, I think, jars of 350. I've tried to find a bigger jar, but haven't. But take your vitamin D. Because that is one of the key things, if not the key thing, in your immune system. Vitamin D. And B and C doesn't hurt either. Uh, that's good coffee. Now, what I'm suggesting here is that we take proven medications, proven medicine. I won't go any further than that because it'll just cut me off. So... <clears throat> Only proven, and it must be natural, organic, in order to work. And I, I do believe that God gave us almost everything we need on this planet to cure us from most illnesses. Now, that was my whole spiel. Oh, one last thing. If you take a blood thinner, and I do, and your skin is getting thin, and mine has, past tense, okay? I've been using this. I don't know if you can read it. Let me see if I can turn better. It's called Silkworks Smooth Serum Professional. Silkworks Smooth Serum Professional. And though it's meant for hair and beards and such, I don't know why. Uh, 10 years ago, I started putting on my, my skin because it's an oil. you know. And I found out that when I use this, I don't sunburn. And as my thin skin, it actually um, puffs it up a little bit. It, it, it's good for you. And I, I find it really works. You can get it online. You can get it most any major store, Silkworks, and when I'm done with the program, since I'll be out and about today, I'm going to put it on my arms and see how golden, beautiful I look. <laughs> and that was not a joke. <clears throat> now, but real health, real health comes from the Lord. And as it says here, a merry heart does good like medicine. A broken spirit dries the bones. And there are times we are broken in spirit, depression, okay, aggravation, frustration. When you lose your temper, does it not affect you physically? Of course it does. So the best cure for almost anything is the Lord himself. When we live right according to the Lord, and when we not only repent, but when we forgive, and this is the big one that chokes up most believers, 
they will repent. They'll even listen to repentance, but they never let it go. And so the baggage just piles up and piles up and piles up and piles up and piles up, and piles up until you're over your head. And that's the purpose of Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is to bring you to that moment in which you can let all that junk go, all that baggage. And, and it's amazing, the reality, that most people carry far more baggage as much as they carry weight as they should. Now, I'm back on my semi sort of diet, and I got to quit cheating. I'll just be honest. <clears throat> but my spiritual diet, I have to keep up to par. I can't afford to cheat on my spiritual diet because that affects my eternal life, not just my natural life. It affects my natural life, too. When I live according to the scriptures, to give, show mercy, kindness, enjoy the fruits of the Spirit, call upon the elders when you're sick, you know, all those things, when those are applied in our life, we find our health getting better. Uh, I'll have to answer my phone in a few moments. But anyway, all this simply say that your health comes from the Lord. And you know Isaiah 53, almost everybody does. Okay, we find that we have responsibility to bring it to the Lord. Okay, <clears throat> that is the purpose and part of the redemption process. Now, God heals. He really does. But does he heal every time? Yes and no. Or is it no and yes? He heals in this world on occasion, physically. And I tell you what, if we followed his rules, dietary and otherwise, we would probably live a lot longer with a lot less pain. But here's how it plays out. He always heals in the resurrection of life. There's a point where I can shed this imperfect, damaged vessel. And God will heal me forever and ever and ever. Now, I have the right to petition the Lord for healing. But sometimes healing is counterproductive <clears throat> in the sense that it sometimes robs us of our testimony. Okay. Eric, uh, okay, uh, I'll come back to that in a moment. Okay. If you see a person who struggles, okay, sometimes, you know, it's just a testimony of boldness and sheer faith or energy. When I see a guy on crutches or in a wheelchair who has refused to give up living, I think they must be the bravest people, the most honorable people in the whole world. They got a lot of chutzpah, a lot of internal fortitude. And to me, that's a testimony. You know, <clears throat> there's an old Jewish proverb. Okay, I complained I had no shoes until I saw a man who had no feet. Think about it. We can rejoice in everything God's given us. But our healing really does come from the Lord. It really is unique for us. And I have another verse or two that I've lined out here for you. And this one is from Corinthians. And it deals with exercise. Okay. <clears throat> I think exercise is good. I should do it more often. You know what I mean? But the reality is, and here's what it says, in Corinthians, do you not know that those who run in a race, <clears throat> uh, they all race, no, starting from the top, but do you not know that those who run in race all run, but one receives the prize, run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who completes, competes for the prize is tempered. In all things, now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an unperishable crown. 
Therefore, I run thus, not with un uncertainty. Thus, I fight not as one beats the air, but I discipline my body and bring it into submission. At least when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Paul saying, physical exercise does help. It is good. Okay? He compares it to the runner runs the race. And there's so much truth in that, too. Let me tell you, I used to be a much bigger person when I was a youth leader. In fact, I hit a wall one day when I took a couple of hundred kids out on a camping trip and realized I couldn't keep up with them. How can I lead from the back of the pack? I can't. How can I serve God with a diminished body? I can't. I had to lose the weight, so I shed 65, <clears throat> 65 pounds. I began to walk, then I began to trot, and then I began to run. Walk, trot, run. Do it in that order. Don't jump out there and think you're going to run around the block. You're not going to. You're going to just wind up, <gasps> as I did many times. But if you walk, trot, run, okay? And sometimes you might do all three. It is good for you. Get this house of God in order. This right here. For know you not that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And I want to treat his temple, okay, with respect. He gave me and he made me. Now I have to shut my mouth on occasion and quit eating second helpings. You know what I mean? I am committed to losing some weight. But boy, there's nothing like a root beer float and a big greasy burger. But the discipline is saying no on most occasions. And rare occasions, maybe a little. But all this is simply saying that it's good. Now, <clears throat> practice your exercise, take your medicine, and in your exercise spiritually, support your church, your congregation, support your people. And then, see if God doesn't bless you. Now, do a blessing here. Become a partner with Shema Shariel and myself. Hit the like button and hit the share button. It will only grow if we share. You know, if somebody needs this message, send it to them. And then we'll see if God doesn't bless all of us. But now I must depart. I have a long day's worth of work, which I'm looking forward to. So may God bless you and keep you. Until tomorrow.